as well as have uh, motion problems. So here in the application of linear equations in uh, motion problems, we have just discussed the basic concept. All right. So the deeper concept will be on your uh, physics. All right. So basically, we have a uh, speed is equal to the distance over uh, time. So this is the main concept of uh, speed. So uh, for example, if the speed of a racing car is increased by 20 kilometers per hour, it will cover in seven hours the same distance it can ordinarily cover in okay, eight hours. So if for example, we have this uh, distance, so it is uh, the required in that uh, we are looking for the ordinary speed. So we have this distance and it can ordinarily be covered for a period of let's say 8 hours so we have the ordinary speed okay, that is I basically distance over time so we have that speed as the distance divided by okay, divided by 8 so on, okay, on the first statement of the problem if the speed of a racing car is increased by 20 kilometers per hour it will cover I in seven hours the same distance. So this the same distance, a uh, distance d will now be covered for only seven by seven hours. That is for the case that velocity will be increased by seven. Uh, the velocity will be increased by twenty kilometers per hour. So that is the velocity increased by. So we are adding twenty kilometers per hour. The same distance. But for this case, the time will be only equal to 7 hours. So from this uh, first equation, let's say the equivalent of the distance is 8 times from velocity. Well, for this case, the distance is equal to by cross multiplication, this is 7 multiplied by the velocity plus uh, 20. So we have two equations equal to the distance. Okay? So, on the first uh, situation, we have the distance equal to 8 times the velocity. If we are to increase the velocity by 20 kilometers per hour, the distance is equal to 7 multiplied by the quantity velocity plus 20. We are just equate, this is 8 times the velocity equal to 7 times the quantity velocity plus uh, 20. So, this is the same type as 8 times velocity equal to is 7 times the velocity plus 140. So this is 8 times the velocity minus 7 times the velocity equal to 140. So this means the velocity is equal to 140 kilometers per or the kilometers per hour. So this is the ordinary speed. Alright, so this will be our answer. So let's have this example. So a man fires a target with a bullet's velocity of, and this is for the bullet, 900 meters per uh, second. After 2.5 seconds, he hears the sound of the bullet that strikes the uh, target. Assuming sound has a velocity or a constant velocity of 350 meters per second, how far is, so let's say this is the target, how far is the target from uh, the man? So let's say that is a distance, or a distance B. So based on the problem, we have the velocity of the bullet and uh, the sound. We have a total time here equal to 2.5 uh, seconds. So take note that we have two time uh, intervals. That is uh, time number one, that is for the bullet to travel from the man to the target. That is our T sub 1. Plus, okay, that is, uh, we will be having time number two. This is time number two, that is for the sound to travel from the target to uh, the man. So that is plus uh, time number two is equal to 2.5 uh, seconds. Since according to the, pro to the problem, after 2.5 troubles, uh, 2.5 seconds, he hear the sound of the bullet. So again, time number one, that is the time for the bullet to travel from the man to the target. Time number two, that is the time for the sound to travel from the target to uh, the man. So we can have, uh, let's say, time number 2 is equal to 2.5 minus time number uh, 1. So we will we'll be using this equation uh, later. So we have the velocity of the bullet is equal to uh, the distance divided by uh, its corresponding time, time number uh, 1. 
So we have the velocity is equal to 900 equal to the distance divided by time number 1 or we can have the equivalent of time number 1 equal to the distance divided by 900. Alright, okay, then we have, this is for uh, the bullet. What about the sound? So we have the velocity of the sound is equal to the same distance okay, divided by time number, okay, it's corresponding time, time number 2. Velocity of the sound is equal to 350 equal to the distance divided by time number uh, 2. So we have the equivalent of time number 2 is equal to the distance divided by 350. So that is the equivalent of uh, time number 2. So we go back in this uh, equation, or you may use this one. That is time number 1 plus time number 2 is equal to 2.5. So take note we are looking for the distance or we are solving for the distance. What is the equivalent of time number 1 in terms of the bullet? So we have, uh, in terms of the properties of the bullet, we have its velocity and time. That is, the distance divided by 900. Plus, what is the equivalent of this one? That is, time number 2. Time number 2 is the distance divided by 350 is equal to 2.5. Uh, so we can factor out the distance. This is 1 over 900. Okay, plus 1 over 350 is equal to uh, 2.5. Uh, so we are just to uh, compute for the distance. This is equal to 2.5 divided by 1 over 900 plus 1 over 350. So the distance is equal to, we have 2.5 seconds, supposedly, this is divided by 1 over 900 plus 1 over 350. So we have the distance to be equal to 630 meters. So there's a distance okay, from the van to the target. And that will be our answer. Okay, so we proceed to balance our problems. So for example, we have a lever. And this is the fulcrum. So it, uh, it is, let's say, about to to carry weights, let's say weight number one and weight uh, number two. So again, this is also uh, taught in uh, physics. So here in algebra, we are just to discuss uh, very uh, basic. So we have, for example, this is distance x of one and this is x of uh, two. So to be uh, to be balanced or for the lever to be horizontal, that is weight number one times x of one should be equal to weight number two times x of two. So basically, if we have uh, the force, uh, the force multiplied, uh, multiplied by the lever arm. Okay, in physics we call this moment. Okay, so force times lever arm is called as a moment. So let's have, let's, let us have this example. So A and B together are weigh two hundred forty-two pounds. They balance when A is seated five feet from the fulcrum on one side of the lever of a lever, and B is seated six feet from the fulcrum on the other side. So find the weight of uh, each. So we have. Okay, so let's say this is uh, the weight of A. So let's say this is uh, the fulcrum. So A is seated five feet from the fulcrum. So let's say this is. 5 uh, feet from this, from this point. Then we have a B is seated 6 feet from the fulcrum. So let's say this is uh, the weight of B. It is at a distance of, uh, let's say this is uh, 6 feet. Okay, so we are required to compute for the weight of A and a uh, weight of B. So from the first statement, uh, the weight of A plus the weight of B is equal to 242 pounds. So if you are to do the, uh, if you are to do balance, if you are to balance the weights of A and B, this is the same as weight of A multiplied by uh, 5 feet 
is equal to by the weight of B. This is multiplied by uh, 6 feet. So we can have the weight of A equal to 6 divided by 5 of the weight of a B. So let us substitute the equivalent of weight of A in our first equation. So we have the weight of A plus the weight of B is equal to 242 pounds. What is the equivalent of weight of A? That is the same as 6 over 5 of the weight of B. Then plus the weight of B is equal to 242. If we are to multiply both sides of the equation by a 5, so this is now 6 times the weight of B plus we have 5 times the weight of B. So what is 5 times 242? Okay, 242 times 5, okay, that is equal to 1,000, 1,210. So this is 11 weight of B is equal to 1,210. So dividing both sides of the equation by 11, so we have now the weight of B is equal to, this is divided by 11, 110 pounds, that will be the weight of a B. What is the weight of A? So weight of A, or the weight of A is equal to 6 over 5 of the weight of B. What is the weight of B? This is 110. And we have... So 110 times 6, this is divided by 5, we have that as 132 pounds. So these are our answers. The weight of A is 132 pounds, the weight of B is 110 pounds. Alright, so let's have this uh, example. John, Peter, and Jane weigh uh, 80 pounds, 60 pounds, and uh, 50 pounds uh, respectively. So John uh, sits 3 feet. Uh, Peter, which is, uh, he is uh, 60 pounds, sits uh, 5 feet. So this distance is, this is the same as uh, 5 feet. Then we have, and Jane sit, uh, sits uh, 6 feet from the fulcrum. So this distance is, uh, we have this as uh, 6 feet. So how far must their 200 pound powder uh, sit from the fulcrum in order to in order to balance them? So we have the father will be sitting on the other end of the, of the lever. So how far is this 200 pound weight from the fulcrum to balance this uh, lever? So we have that as 200 times its a lever arm, which is x should be equal to okay, the moments on the other side. So this is the product of the weight, 80 times this distance, this is a 3. Plus, we have 60 times okay, his distance from the fulcrum, this is a 5. Then plus, okay, her distance, or her weight, 50. Then how far she is from the fulcrum, this is a okay, 6. So let's have that value. We have 80 times 3, okay, plus uh, 60 times times 5, then plus 50 times plus 6. So we have this value on this side. We have 200 of x is equal to 800 by okay, 840. So dividing both sides of the equation by 200, okay, we have the distance. So 840 divided by 200 is equal to 4 point. So this is 4.2 feet. So the father must uh, stay at a distance of 4.2 feet to balance the weights of uh, the kids on the other uh, side. So this will be our answer, 4.2 feet.